Hello everybody and welcome back to another math learning video. Today we have this problem seen here. It's the square root of 49 squared plus 49 plus 50. And we're going to solve this problem without using a calculator. So let's go ahead and start. So the first thing that I notice and what you probably noticed also is that there we have a 49 squared plus 49. So there's two 49's here. And there's something that we can do with this 49. Since both of these terms have a 49 in them, it's 49 squared is just equal to 49 times 49. We can factor out a 49 from these two terms. So that will look like this. 49 times... So whenever you factor out a value, you need to take one value away from them. So since this 49 squared, we're going to take out a 49. We take one 49 away, we are left with 49 still. And now our 49. So our 49 is equal to 49 times 1. So if we factor out a 49 from here, this means that we are simply just left with 1. Okay? So that is 49 squared plus 49 factored. And then we just have a plus 50 still at the end. So now this already looks easier to solve. So 49 plus 1 inside the parentheses, we can simplify that to, 40, to 50. So we have 49 times 50 plus 50. Okay. So now, once again, we are in a similar situation where we can factor out. Since both of these terms, they're being added, 49 times 50 plus 50. Both of these terms have a factor of 50 inside of them. So we, it means we can factor out the 50. So for the first term, when we factor it out from the 49 times 50, if we take out the 50, we're left with just 49. And now here, when we factor out 50 from this 50 here, it's going to be like when what we did with factoring out 49 from 49. It's the same value, so we're just going to be left with 1, because 50 divided by 50 is equal to 1. So here we have this new term rewritten like this. And this is already looks much simpler to solve, because 49 plus 1 is equal to 50. So we have square root of 50 times 50. And remember, when you, when you multiply two numbers together, this is the same thing as just squaring that number, right? So 50 times 50 is equal to 50 squared. And now, in case you didn't know, square root and square are opposite functions, so they cancel out with each other. So this squared and this square root cancel out with each other. The only thing that you need to be worried about when canceling out of these, canceling out each other, is that your answer will be positive. So if this was negative 50 squared, our value will still be positive, even if, but our value is positive here anyway, so we don't really have to worry about that. But just make sure whenever you are canceling out a square root in a square where a negative number is involved, the, your answer will be positive. But here our answer is, po our value here is positive anyway, the 50, so our square root and square will cancel out, so that will just leave us with our final answer, which is 50. And that is it, okay? So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time. Bye!